Hey guys, it's Aaron King from Photog Adventures. Today on Astro Photog, I'm going to talk about the new Eclipse feature that Photopills added to their app and show you how to use it. So get your app updated and let's look at it right now. Let me pull up Photopills. If you're curious if you've actually not updated yet, you will see a notification right away that teaches you about the new feature. So if you don't see that and you're still wondering, go to My Stuff, go down to Settings, and in the bottom setting, you'll see version 2.4 or 2.3.3. You know that you have it if you have version 2.4 or greater. So going back into the app, you'll also notice right away a change because you're going to go and zoom out from your point, and you'll see the lines where it shows the penumbra shadow and the umbra shadow of the moon. And you'll quickly see where you are versus the uh, path of totality. If you're on a mobile device you're gonna see it like I'm seeing it right here and on the screen next to me right there you're gonna see a planner window the bottom timeline where you can scrub it and the top has all the panels and all these panels will give you information and in the past you've had only up until the galactic center well now they've added two more panels when you first come to it you're probably going to see this screen and this just means that it hasn't had an eclipse loaded what eclipse do you want and you simply tap it says tap the button to load one and you might not realize that that square next to the text with the two blue circles on it that's a button you hit that and it loads the next eclipse which is right now the august 21st eclipse and you can see okay from my location here in orem I'm only going to experience a partial eclipse. It's going to be 0.912 magnitude. So this, this panel is pretty interesting. It gives you fast information. Say you moved your pin up to the path of totality and you zoom out. And you see, okay, path of totality is up here. If I'm up here in Rexburg, Idaho, put my pin down. Oh, yeah, total eclipse, and it shows you that your magnitude is even greater than one. So you know you're going to be inside that moon shadow. And so when you look in here and you get this information, it's kind of great. All right, I know I'm going to be in total solar eclipse, but there's more information in the next panel. The next panel is awesome. So how do I find the date and make sure I'm out there at the total solar eclipse? Right here, I'm at 408 on 725, and I can see, hmm, all right, well, when's the next eclipse? August 21st? Should I start scrolling this way? That's going to take forever. This button that you just learned about, it'll get you right to the very beginning of the eclipse when or where you are standing. The beginning of the eclipse is 1016 a.m., and it moved my timeline down here, and it also moved my date to August 21st. So let's go back, and let's go back to the beginning of the eclipse. So someone asked me recently, so is the eclipse going to be full here? Will I see it? It's like, no, no, you're not going to see a full eclipse here in Orem, but you're going to see an awesome eclipse, and it's going to be just a thumbnail of a sun. Well, how, what does that little fingernail looking crescent of the sun look like? Well, right here you can see it. The moment that the eclipse begins here in Orem is 1014 a.m. So I'm going to put my thumb down on the timeline at the bottom so that I can expand it. You can see how I compress it, expand it. I'm expanding it so I can finally scrub through there. So from 1014, what's going to happen? And you can see visually, it actually changes the eclipse up in that top left corner. You can see exactly what's going to happen. So I know that starting at 1014, I'm going to start seeing a little chop, a chomp right out of the sun. You can start seeing it because the moon's entering there and transiting in front of the sun. And no longer can see that moon. You no longer can see that part of the sun, and it just keeps going. And right here, well, where's the point of the max, the max coverage that it will be. You hit that button again and it takes you to the next stage. You can see right here, 1014, 1134, and 1 p.m. And I tap that button three times, like it takes me from 1014, 1134 a.m., and 1 p.m. So it shows me those three milestones in the eclipse that day and just lets me tap through them quickly so I can navigate through them. So I know the max looks like this. 1134, when it's at its most covered, when it's at that magnitude of 0.912, I am seeing it like that. And so if I didn't travel anywhere, if I didn't go up north at all, it's still a pretty awesome eclipse. But it's a full eclipse, an opportunity to see it. So I really, really, really want to go somewhere cool. So where do I go for the path of totality? Anywhere in the North America, anywhere in North America, you can see right here that you've got a path of totality that, I, that you can navigate to. Depending on what button tool that you have down here on the bottom shelf, just make sure you got the pin with the X. And then you can navigate somewhere, somewhere that you're willing to drive. Say, I got a buddy that lives up in Driggs, Idaho. He's got a place that I can stay. Let me go there. I'll put my pin down just below Driggs, Idaho. Well, what's the eclipse like in Driggs, Idaho? Oh, man, look at that. Full eclipse is going to have that coronal blast coming out off of the moon as it blocks the whole sun. That's just going to be such an interesting thing to see. I can't wait to photograph that. And so right here, using this little 
quick guide through here, you can see if I do a time lapse, I can see exactly what it's going to look like for all my images of that eclipse. That is going to be awesome. So if you really want to base where you're going to be based on how cool it looks or what you're trying to attain in your image, this is an awesome way to see it real fast by guiding through there. So one thing I wanted to check when I was playing around with this is how do I know how long the full solar eclipse is going to last in that area? And that's one thing I don't really have, but I do have. So if I'm all zoomed in, I can see the timeline where I can scrub through it in a finer way down the bottom bar. I see that it starts really at 1134. That graphic is like, okay, 1134. 11.34, I can see it begin. It's kind of hard to just navigate on your mobile device to get there in the precise minute. But it's 11.34, it begins. I go to 11.35, it's still there. 11.36, it's still there. And 11.37, it's over. So is it three minutes long? Even the longest total solar eclipse in the entire country is only two minutes and like 40 or 50 seconds. It's not three minutes long. So I know that's not it. So how do I possibly know the exact minute and second. Well, that's where you got to get out of the app because the app just doesn't have it. And I just want to pull up one image. I'll share this image on the description down below. So check it out. You can see this one image that I find. It's it, it's cool because it shows you the penumbral areas of the 0.90 eclipse, 0.80, 0.70. It also shows you so along the path of totality where you're here in Lincoln City and in, in Oregon. It looks like you're going to see only two minutes from there, two minutes and 20, 10 seconds of total solar eclipse two minutes of 20 seconds of total solar eclipse, and so on until the point of longest eclipse at two minutes and 41 seconds out there near Carbondale in Missouri. No, it's at the bottom of Illinois. Carbondale, Illinois. So the, the longest eclipse you could experience is two minutes and 41 seconds. Let's go ahead and na navigate through an iPad that's been newly updated to cement in how to use these features and what they look like so that you recognize what you're seeing when you see it on your own mobile device. Tap in the iPad, I just barely did the update, and so it should take me right to this. Oh, what's new in PhotoPills 2.4? Get ready for the total solar eclipse, how it works, information. They got a guide there written by Raphael Pons. I recommend reading that after you listen to this. I'll put a link in below for that. So go to PhotoPills, go to Planner, and let's see what it looks like on the iPad. Last place I was at on this iPad, looks like it's out by the silo. I'm zooming out. Hmm, I don't see anything. So let's see. Let's get this eclipse working. No eclipse is loaded. So now this is actually a scrolling bar. That didn't have a scroll before. So now I scroll up. I can see there's nothing loaded. I tap anywhere on there that's not that square with the blue circles and nothing happens. I tap on the square with the blue circles. Boom. <laughs> Boom indeed. So then I zoom in and see my location. All right. If I were to go out here to this area... Not sure what I was marking in that. Oh, that's the trestle. So if I were to come out here to the train trestle and I wanted to capture the eclipse, well, how would I do that? Well, now on the bottom line, I can see I tap that, tap that square with the yellow circle in it, and I've gone out to August 21st at 10.14 a.m. What's the eclipse look like as I scrub through here? Oh, yeah. So if I really wanted to get a photograph or a time lapse of all that happening with the trestle in view somehow and zoomed in on the, tel on the telephoto, zoom in on the eclipse, I could do that. I mean, maybe I can work something out and make it look like this. That'd be cool. So I can see that I tap this. It takes me to the beginning of the eclipse. I tap that square with the yellow circle, and it takes me to the highlight, the max, the, the apex, the pinnacle, the, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I go to the point where the max of the eclipse is happening and you can see the most coverage right here. If I tap it again, it goes to the end. So I can see that anywhere from 1014 to 1 p.m., that's where I'm really busy. I have never seen an eclipse before. I am freaking excited to get out there and see a full solar eclipse. I have no idea what it's like. People say that it changes you, that somehow seeing that moon come in and transit and fully eclipse out the sun and having the light right there completely go dark and what you can see. Can you see stars a little bit? I don't know what I'm going to see, but they say it changes you and so like many of you we're gonna experience like me and many of you we're gonna experience this for the very first time so thank you photo pills for adding this to your app It'd be awesome if you added the feature of showing me how long I'm gonna see a full eclipse and I was hoping this photo pills app would have it it's too bad it doesn't but man I love this added feature to it. The next eclipse, I'm going to know where it's at and what to do with it because when after this 21st, I'm going to hit that button again and load the next eclipse. And I'm curious, what's it going to show? When's the next eclipse? Awesome app, awesome feature. Thank you guys for joining me on Astrophotog. I'm Aaron King. If you guys want to see more information, check us out. Or if you want a podcast, listen to the podcast. We have it out there. Just Google Photog Adventures Podcast. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.
video from Brenda and I, a photo tug adventure of this area to see all the different options that we've had out here. But this area is Dance Hall Rock, and this little pit is the famous pit. 